Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Mi 11 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up your portable hotspot. So to get started, let's pull down our notification panel and find the hotspot toggle, which for me is just the third icon right over here. Once you find it, you can simply tap on it uh, to enable it, but if you don't know the password, then this will kind of defeat the purpose. So instead, let's hold it and this will take us to this, almost to the settings where and here we can tap on set up portable hotspot and start off by changing our password. As you can see, the one that is set right here is just some random garbage. So let's just tap here, completely remove this one and set our own super secure password. Uh, it does need to have eight characters in length. Um, and yeah, once you set up your password, you could basically call it a day and turn it on. As long as you remember your SSID, which is uh, the network name. So when you're looking in your Wi-Fi list, and that is what you're going to be looking for, the Mi 11. That's going to be the name of the Wi-Fi. Now we do also have a couple different things right here, like the AP band, which can change it from 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. Now, if you don't know if your device that you want to connect to this hotspot with has a support for the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi, uh, then we can do a simple test. Change it to 5, enable the hotspot, and see if that device can see it. If it can't, that means that it just doesn't support it. If it can, then you're all set. You don't really need to do anything extra, just connect to it and that's it. Now, if you're also wondering uh, why would you bother even checking it, uh, the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is the 5 gigahertz will be faster and more stable of a connection compared to the 2.4. So that's why I would recommend you to try it at least. And yeah, basically apart from that, uh, once you have set it all up, tap on a check mark and yeah, turn on your hotspot from here. So all you need to do is simply tap on it. Now it does give you a notification right here uh, telling you that it is enabled, how many people will be connected. And once you're done with it, make sure you do disable it because otherwise it will be using your battery life more than it should for basically no reason. So yeah, that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.